All right. I got my brother's 2001 Chevy 2500 Duramax diesel with 250,000 miles on it. And he said the air blows cold, but it doesn't have very much volume when he turns the air conditioner on. So my guess is the AC cabin filter, which is in the passenger side floorboard under this cover here, is probably, the filters are probably full of debris. Um, dead bugs, dust, grass particles, lint, all that stuff gets sucked up in there. And like any other filter, if it's clogged, the volume of air coming out of it is gonna be next to nothing. So we're gonna give this uh, a try getting this cover off and pulling these filters and we will see what they look like. They take three seven millimeter bolts to get it off and we'll see what it looks like. There's the first bolt, screw. Second one is right here. A truck with 250,000 miles on it is pretty amazing to me. It actually runs pretty darn good. Um, but there's a good chance that these are possibly the original filters in here from 2001, never been changed. Um, the cabin filter is not something people think about when they service their AC units. They think, think about the refrigerant you know, what, what condition the condenser's in and all that stuff, but they don't think about the air filter that actually gets sucked into the unit. And if that's clogged up, you might as well not even have an AC because it's barely gonna blow. And that's the case in this one. Now the second one, the third one here is way back up in here. And it's gonna be a little harder to get to. So we'll have to take the extension off of that one. All right, so we got the cover off, got two of the three screws off. The third one is way back up in here and you actually don't need to pull that one off. You just pull the front two so you can drop this cover down and you can get to the filter area. The filter is located, there's two filters up behind this cover right here. So if you push this tab in and pull this down, it should come right off and there it is. Slide that out of the way. And I think we're finding the culprit of why we have no volume here. Lots of debris falling out and the filters are totally clogged. Yep. As you can see, lots of stuff in there. Um, those are probably, I would say, 80% clogged. Um, I don't know that there are the original filters for the truck, but um, there should be a second one up in here too. Let's see what it looks like inside by the condenser. It's actually not too bad in there. You can see the second filter right up in there. So 
So we'll see if we can get that one out. And oh boy, that one's even worse. Lots of stuff. Oh yeah, um, pretty clogged. Lots of uh, bugs and leaves and debris. So here's the new filters. Quite the contrast between the new and the old ones. So they are a directional airflow filter. So the airflow with the arrow um, it's pretty simple to understand there if that is to go a certain way and let's put it in Doesn't matter which one goes in first. They're both the exact same filters. It just takes two of them to get in there. Work them in, work them up, and then back. The first one slides into a little slot back there, and that's in. The second one also slide into a slot. So it's a pretty simple job, um, anybody could really do it, but it's actually really important if you live somewhere where it's hot in the summertime and you need your AC to work to its fullest um, for 20 bucks and a half hour's time, you can have it done yourself. There we go, filters are in, put this cover back on this tab there. And get the last two bolts, screws put back in there, and we'll be done. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and hit the like button.